Admiral Sam Paparo, head of the U.S. Pacific Fleet, revealed that China had constructed the submarines with the potential to pose a grave threat to the United States. This alarming revelation raises the question, what factors are preventing them from pressing the red button? Today, we unravel this mystery, unveiling a surprising twist in the story. The rapidly growing military might of China presents a daunting challenge for the United States. By the end of the decade, China's naval power is projected to reach new heights, with the potential for five aircraft carriers and an arsenal of 60 cruisers and destroyers, effectively doubling their current tonnage and potentially surpassing America's navy by 2030. China's military expansion extends beyond surface vessels. The nation continues to bolster its combat capabilities with the development of advanced aircraft such as the next-generation tactical bomber H-20, along with a substantial increase in ships and ground-based missile systems. Of particular concern is China's focus on its nuclear weapons program, aiming to possess 700 warheads by 2027, with an additional 300 warheads anticipated by 2030. Amidst this arsenal, the Chinese fleets of Nuclear Ballistic Missile Submarines, or SSBN, and Submarine Launched Ballistic Missiles, or SLBM, stand out as a source of profound worry to the Pentagon. These submarines, equipped with advanced technologies, pose a significant threat to global stability. But what makes them so formidable? To grasp the gravity of this situation, it's crucial to understand the capabilities of China's submarines. These submarines, currently estimated to include the Type 094, possess a substantial number of missile launchers and a formidable arsenal of ballistic missiles. The range of the Julong-2 or JL-2 submarine-launched ballistic missile, estimated approximately 4,464 miles, allows Chinese submarines to target regions as far as Alaska and the east coast of the United States. However, the plot takes an unexpected twist. While the US military and Western sources have shared concerns regarding China's submarine capabilities, Chinese military experts argue that their submarine development primarily serves as a deterrent against nuclear blackmail. They dismiss the speculations surrounding their intentions as exaggerated, aimed at justifying increased funding for the US military's own defense initiatives. China's Type 094 Within China's expanding fleet, Six Type 094 submarines stand out. Equipped with 12 missile launchers and a formidable arsenal of 72 missiles, these submarines play a crucial role as part of China's nuclear deterrent force. It's widely believed that at least four and potentially all of these submarines are stationed at Hainan Island in the South China Sea. Regularly patrolling these waters allows China to protect its submarines from foreign anti-submarine forces and solidify its position as a strategic stronghold in the South China Sea. The Zhulong-2, also known as the JL-2 submarine-launched ballistic missile, possesses a range of approximately 4,464 miles, as estimated by the Congressional Research Service. This impressive range enables China's submarines to target specific areas of Alaska from regions near China and even reach the eastern coast of the United States. To accomplish such feats, the submarines must navigate waters of East Hawaii. However, the strategic landscape may soon shift with the anticipated introduction of the JL-3 missile, expected to boast an even longer range. If these speculations hold true, China could potentially launch attacks against the United States from a secure position in the South China Sea. Reports from American press sources suggest that the JL-3 might surpass the 6,200-mile range threshold. In this scenario, a significant portion of the United States, including North and South Dakota, Montana, Oregon, Washington, Nevada, Utah, and California, would face a potential threat. However, for China to target the entire United States, Chinese submarines would need to venture beyond the defensive umbrella of their own forces in the West Pacific, surpassing Japan and Taiwan, which could render them vulnerable to anti-submarine warfare. Despite their formidable capabilities, Chinese missile submarines are not yet fully silent enough to operate independently, unlike their American counterparts. However, Chinese military experts argue that China's development of submarine-launched ballistic missiles primarily aims to protect the nation from nuclear blackmail. They contend that U.S. military speculations regarding China's capabilities are based on misleading information strategically intended to secure increased funding for American military development while constraining China's growth. These experts argue that the U.S. military seeks to bolster its presence in the Asia-Pacific region amid the Russia-Ukraine conflict and secure additional funding for advanced nuclear-powered submarines, such as the upcoming Columbia-class, scheduled to replace the Ohio-class. 
By magnifying the perceived China threat, the U.S. military can garner more funds and regional support. Chinese experts maintain that China's nuclear forces, centered around submarines, are primarily designed for defensive counterattacks, with China maintaining the minimum nuclear capabilities necessary for national security. China has no intention of aggressively threatening or attacking other nations, but rather aims to deter nuclear threats against itself. USS West Virginia In contrast to China's predominantly diesel-powered submarine fleet, all U.S. submarines operate on nuclear power. Among these, the USS West Virginia, or SSBN-736, stands as a remarkable veteran. As an Ohio-class ballistic missile submarine, it has dutifully served since 1990, representing the 11th out of the 18 Ohio-class submarines commissioned by the U.S. Navy. This vessel proudly carries the name of West Virginia, honoring the 35th state. Advancements in naval technology continue with the construction of the Block V variant of Virginia-class attack submarines for the U.S. Navy. These submarines showcase superior firepower, incorporating state-of-the-art sonar technology, automation, and artificial intelligence. Progress is underway through a substantial $22 billion contract between the Navy and General Dynamics Electric Boat. Notably, eight of these new submarines will be equipped with an 80-foot armament section, expanding the onboard capacity for Tomahawk assault missiles from 12 to 40. The Trident II D-5 missile serves as the armament for the U.S. Navy Ohio-class submarines. This three-stage ballistic missile can carry multiple independently targeted re-entry bodies and boasts an impressive maximum range of 4,000 nautical miles. With speeds reaching up to 20,000 feet per second, each Trident II D-5 missile carries a price tag of $30 million. Its warhead options include a 100 kiloton W-76 MK-4, a 100 kiloton W-76-1 MK-4A, and a formidable 455 kiloton W-88 MK-5 warhead, the highest yield ballistic missile warhead in the U.S. arsenal. Recognizing the importance of maintaining a reliable fleet, the Navy is actively updating the Trident II D-5 nuclear missile to ensure its continued operation in nuclear ballistic missile submarines for an additional 25 years. Spanning 560 feet in length, equivalent to nearly two football fields, Trident submarines offer impressive capabilities. Each submarine has the capacity to carry 24 submarine-launched ballistic missiles, known as Trident D-5. These missiles, in turn, can deploy up to eight 100-kiloton nuclear warheads, delivering explosive power approximately 30 times greater than that of the Hiroshima bomb. Standing at 44.6 feet tall, the Trident D-5 missile initially pressed a range of 4,230 nautical miles with a full load of warheads, which could extend to over 6,000 nautical miles with a reduced load. Modifications and life extension programs may have affected some specifications, with warheads classified as either Mark IV W-76 or Mark V W-88. The U.S. Next Generation Columbia Class Innovation is always underway in the United States, and the latest development is the highly anticipated Columbia Class, currently in the construction phase. This cutting-edge submarine is poised to become the quietest underwater vessel ever created boasting a range of groundbreaking features. One notable advancement is the implementation of smooth and efficient electric propulsion, a departure from the traditional mechanical drive propulsion train used in other Navy submarines. Additionally, the Columbia class showcases an unconventional X-shaped stern design. Navy experts predict that these modifications will contribute to enhanced stealth capabilities and unparalleled performance. The heart of the Columbia class lies in its advanced reactor plant, which harnesses heat and converts it to steam to propel the submarine forward. This steam simultaneously powers turbines that can generate the sub's energy. The process relies on reduction gears, enabling the conversion of a turbine's high-speed energy into the required shaft RPMs to drive the boat's propeller. With a length spanning 560 feet, these submarines can accommodate up to 16 Trident D-5 missiles housed with 44-foot-long tubes, as confirmed by Navy authorities. While the transition from propellers to propulsors in submarine design led to improved stealth characteristics, it also introduced limitations on surface maneuverability. However, the X-shaped stern in the Columbia class aims to rectify this issue. The electric drive propulsion system relies on a nuclear reactor to generate the necessary heat and steam. Instead of employing traditional reduction gears, the power generated is directed to an electric motor. 
An aged study conducted by MIT during the exploration of electric drive propulsion highlights the added benefits of using an electric motor. According to an essay titled Evaluation and Comparison for Electric Propulsion Motors for Submarines, this approach epitomizes the utilization of the installed reactor power, freeing up additional onboard power for other critical functions. Joel Harbour, the author of the essay, asserts that a mechanical drive submarine dedicates a substantial 80% of its reactor power solely to propulsion. The Columbia class incorporates various advanced technologies exclusive to the Block 3 Virginia class combat submarine. These include a computer-driven joystick navigation system, fly-by-wire technology, and fiber-optic periscope technology. Automated navigation empowers the submarine to autonomously detect depth and speed, allowing human operators to focus on command and control responsibilities. Although the U.S. Navy has faced challenges in shipbuilding compared to its Chinese counterpart, it maintains its dominance in naval forces. This superiority extends beyond aircraft carriers and their battle groups, which Beijing is projected to match in the near future to submarine warfare, where the U.S. maintains a formidable technological advantage that Beijing may find arduous to overcome. These exceptionally silent submarines could potentially mirror the strategic rivalry portrayed in the famous movie The Hunt for Red October during the Cold War era. War is akin to a game of chess, and the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean serves as the battlefield. Engagements can last for minutes, hours, or even years. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.